Um, so in January or so, um, right after Christmas in 2019, um, I started noticing that my heart was skipping a beat and then it would come back with a big heavy beat. Um, and at first it was just barely noticeable um, and then it started getting stronger, um, happening more often. Um, and late at night I would notice that it happened more often and I just my whole chest was kind of tight and I felt tired, like my heart was tired. Um, so I went and saw Dr. Seward Allen, he's a cardiologist with Adventist Health, and he put a, a heart monitor on me for two weeks. And he called and, and he said, I'm Tim, so you have heart failure. And that's not an easy thing to hear um, from a doctor and I didn't really know what that meant. And he said, it doesn't mean that your heart has failed, it means that it's not operating at the level that, it, that it's supposed to. Um, I went to get the stress test and they got me all hooked up and didn't like what they saw. So they unhooked me and called Dr. Allen and said, hey, you know, I think that he should do the stress test. And Dr. Allen said, okay, and then scheduled an angiogram um, and got, this, got the angiogram done. And when I woke up from the angiogram, Dr. Allen was there with a heart surgeon and they said that, you know, you need to have surgery right away and we have a, an opening on the schedule in two weeks. And so, um, and, and have the, uh, we're scheduled to have a triple bypass surgery. And when I came out of surgery, they told me that it had, uh, that they had done five of the vessels. So it was quintuple bypass. Well, from start, at the start, it was, it was denial, I think, you know, it was just like, well, get in to see the doctor, but it's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm 56. 56 years old, that's pretty young to be thinking that you're gonna have some major thing wrong with your heart. So I kept thinking like, it's all gonna be fine. He'll go to the doctor, he's active, rides mountain bikes, he does stuff on the property. This is, we'll figure it out, we'll take the medicine, it's gonna be fine. And then um, I think the reality really hit when I saw them wheel you into intensive care. Past the waiting room, I was, you know, just waiting for you to come out and you were hooked. <laughs> you, you were hooked up to so many tubes and out of your neck, out of everywhere. Um, and the nurse came up to me and she just said, but he looks so good, he looks so good. She kept saying, he looks so good. And I thought, this is the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, and then it was just the sitting and watching and waiting for you to wake up. But um, it, it was hard. I, I don't ever want anyone to have to go through that. It was not fun. So I think for me, one of the hardest things that I went through um, having open heart surgery and then recovering from that um, was watching my family have to go through it with me. Um, and it was just a hard thing to see that my family had to go through this really scary thing um, that maybe could have been prevented if I had known a few years earlier that I was having this issue um, that could have been that could have been fixed um, through things like dietary change, exercise, lifestyle change. And um, so if we have this advanced um, ultrasound technology in Lake County, then I would, my advice for everyone would be that if your doctor says, hey, we wanna give you this scan then say, absolutely, let's do it. Um, hopefully some people will um, catch things early be able to fix them with non-invasive um, techniques and um, you, you won't have to go through, um, you know, er everything that goes with open heart surgery, because trust me, it's something you don't want to do.